Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video here on Passy Shift Skin. It's a pleasure to be chatting to you. Thank you very much for joining us. Today, we're going through individual characters from the new game Apex Legends from Respawn Entertainment. The guys behind Titanfall 2, they've actually got a Battle Royale game out that's kind of playing a little bit like Overwatch with individual characters that have legendary skills. And they've got six characters that are available to start off with from the base game. I'm going through each one of them and looking at their unlockables, their quote lines, and their finishing moves, and what skills they actually have as well. Our next one up is Gibraltar. The big rock of Gibraltar himself, themselves. So yeah, um, dude looks like a badass, a heavy ass badass. <laughs> like that's that's full armoring. <laughs> that, that is full, full, full armoring. I like it a lot. Um, let's take a look at what the alternative costumes are because I'm assuming there's going to be at least one that's going to be almost like sumo-esque, I suppose, with the actual stance he's already having. But yep, original, big, heavy, well padded, Millennium Tusk. God damn yes! <laughs> actually, I know it's uh, it's like Kabuki makeup. It's actually on his face, but in my head, head that I'm waiting for him to do the hundred hand slap. This is E Honda. <laughs> um, Millennium Tusk. Wait, hang on. Put in the gear. Don't know why. It is. It, it definitely has kind of almost samurai garb. It, but it looks like a very big bulky version of Tall Geese, or with the name Millennium Tusk. I don't know, but it's like. Reminds me of the Millennium Falcon, just with the design and the curvatures and the shaping of it. It's an interesting design. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, Dark Side. Oh, pfft. Millennium Tusk and Dark Side is the two top ones. Of course, this is a Star Wars reference. <laughs> so Light Side, Dark Side, something, something Dark Side. Um, purples, reds. That looks pretty badass. I love it. So it is the Millennium Tusk, but with darker accents, uh, darker colors. Literally the Dark Side version of that same costume. Love the face makeup. Mod. <laughs> so it essentially is Darth Gibraltar. I like it. I get on board with that. That is the legendary one so far for me. Ride or die. Ooh. Right. Like the design. Um, I'm so, looking at it. It does look like a historic soldier design of some sort. I'm assuming it actually relates to, uh, obviously to the face mask and the origin, historical origins of the character. Which I know absolutely nothing about it, but yeah, I, I like the design. I like the actual the shield is what sells it for me, and the um, so the simple dome helmet. Uh, the rest of the costume I'm not massively fussed on, but it, yeah, it's essentially it's the heavy. <laughs> it's like it's a bit of a heavy costume, and I actually like the design of it. But it's uh, simplified down, pretty badass, and the shield is pretty cool to see. Uh, what's their next one? Bunker Buster, and that one is uh, much more military. -a. Um, yeah, that's that's it. That's uh, Earth Defense Force kind of outfit. Like that really does feel like feel and look like an ED, EDF game character costume. Sorry, um, an EDF costume character like that, and it still and has that same face mask with oh, with a painting over the no Ah, uh, yeah, I like that one. On board. The so Bunker Buster and Dark Side are my two favorites out of the top ones, out of the legendaries. Let's get on to the uh... cool. So I think there's going to be a, a common theme with these. Uh, a lot of these, uh, I looked at a lot of characters once and they kind of had this like lower layer of the costume or one part of the costume has actually like a transitioning animated effect to it. I'm on board with this. Um, I just like it because it actually looks cool whenever the characters are in a pose. And I'm, I imagine they're probably going to be make it easier to spot in game, but you pay for the coolness price just. So fiber optics, deep blue stripes running through it. Demon Hunter, same design. So I think this is actually going to be each one of the characters has these same like series of patterns running over different parts of their costume or fabrics, and then it's just being applied to different parts on each character. Um, I like that one. I like that flame. Um, I like it on the shield. But I'm not too sure. I like the design all together on him with the darks and the reds. I like the system. I like this on another character. Not so much on this guy. Same pattern and design, but in green. Um, nah, no, not no, not not a huge fan of that one as I was on the other character. Same with the tan and the flames. Yeah. Girl net, but too blue. Demon Hunter and Fiber Optics, probably my two favorites out of the rarity ones there. The holographic system. Let's get into the actual uncommons. Uncommon ones simply are uh, part of the texture colors are going to be color swap. So you get a pattern or color swap on. Yeah. Uh, Molten Core and Warfare. Tightrope. Tightrope. Actually, I really like the type rope one. That was cool. Well, um, some people, like, considerably people will say not cool, but it just kind of has a feel. You know, like the, the, the tabard roping that, a, like, a sumo wrestler would actually normally wear? 
like the kind of one that goes around the waist and then tucks around and then makes the diaper nappy thing. <laughs> Terribly offensive way to describe, it. but uh, you know what I'm talking about by the costume. But I actually like the design, the patterning of the rope in this. It reminds me of that, and it looks pretty cool with the white suit. Um, it actually looks like it's like roping around the entire part of the body just for the design of it. It works really well on this character. Didn't quite so much on another one. But tight rope would actually be one of the um, my favorite on common ones so far. Tropic streak, fizzle reel, heart and face. No, please no. Purgatory. Oh, this one I didn't see on another character. That's cool. I like that. Skulls, always going to be a, a good choice for me. Uh, bloodline, Heels of Justice, uh, Lizard Scales. This kind of reminds me of a character from uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. No, no, 3? From Snake Eater? Which one is it? Which one is 3 is it that I see? I'm not even... It's like, I'm saying 3, but in my head I'm thinking about the bomb guy from 2. <laughs> so... If you play the Metal Gear Solid games, a lot of the guys kind of would actually look look perfectly appropriate in this costume. <laughs> uh, interdimensional. Ooh, I like that pattern. Not so sure actually on this character. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that pattern on somebody else. Warlord. Looks pretty cool. Very bright. Uh, ornamentals. Oh, yeah, I'll go with the flower print. I mean, essentially it is Doth, doth You Wear Mother's Curtain, but I'm, I'm entertained by that. Green screen. Works well on that character, not so much on the previous ones. Okay. A volcanic pattern, like it. Um, again, almost like a scaling effect, but a volcanic or hexagonal hexagonal That's cool. That would actually go well with a gun that I've already unlocked. So um, I like that one for a particular reason, but I would have to get the rest of the set for all of the guns to actually be for it to make sense. Greatness weights. So I actually have um, a costume unlock for this character because of the PS Plus. Um, Greatness of Weights is obviously a PlayStation reference. So I'm assuming this skin may be PC, PS4, two, or PS4 only. Um, and then you've of course got your other card, your other ones which are just color swaps of original costume or uh, the original standard one. Um, I like that Midnight one already. I just, that one's just very ashen and simple, but because you keep the pattern here in the front and then just kind of change the, Blurring around it. I just, the night one just works for me, just with the black patches around. Uh, Cardinal, red, not so much. Uh, Arctic, yeah, white white works as well, but I mean, essentially, you've already got a lot of white in there. Thundering, um, yeah, so all of these are just going to be pouch straps. They're going to be different colors. Orchid, if it's for the lowest class one, I'm always a purple fan. I will take purple on anything, so that will do for me. Uh, clear water, vino, evergreen. Yellow jacket, skyward, and every, all these kind of seem to be a, almost a standard. That and then just matters what you want to see. Um, the only one out of those that I actually like at all. The orchard and the right, but uh, that's a low level. We're now, nobody's going to be aiming to be wearing those at most times. So we'll go through the uh, your banner card. Banner cards are what you kind of leave behind once you've dropped dead on the ground and can be actually picked up by your teammates to help you survive. And you might as well entertain them while you're doing it with some really fancy artwork. Your basic rookie card looks like this on whatever it is, bit in background in the pose. Then you actually start to have the legendary ones where you have an animated effect over the top of it, where it's just him bursting through a goddamn wall. Burnout legend. All right. Um, I, I think the thing is, right, this pose does not fit with this foreground, but I actually like the foreground itself. Um, rock and roll racing. Protective element. Um, I like the design. But um, I'm sure there's actually a meaning to the pattern, but um, I'm not a huge fan of it. Power posturing. <laughs> the faces look cool and the animation's quite simple. Um, but uh, again, none, none of these are really kind of holding my attention. And apex protection. Uh, so this is like obviously this character throws down a defensive shield, so this is actually just a pattern of the shield with him stuff. Looks cool. I like it, but um, I'll be ground without. Full steam. Uh, so the next layer ones is actually always the uncommons. The uncommons are going to be like a detailed drawing, but no animation to them. A lot of these I like, seem like shark tooth kind of things. Um, Greatness of Weights, obviously the PlayStation one by default. It's actually there. I'm going to throw it on because it's the only one I have unlocked. The rest of the colorings. Um, uh, basic background textures, most common ones. They essentially just give a bit of coloring to it. All right, poses. Up here ones are always animated. Let's see what ones we got. Yeah, bring it on! I like that one. I like that. I like that kind of like rise up and a break in a pose. Yes, that's an angry man, and I appreciate him. 
<laughs> oh, that one's actually pretty cute just for the fact that it's actually it's like, hey, buddy, I'm just going to chill out next to you. I like that one. All right, good company would be what I would go for. <laughs> All right. I'm, like, actually, in fact, like, Gibraltar is the kind of guy I actually want to hang out with. It's just so far. This guy, it's just the little moments you have of design of him. I'm, I want to hang out with this guy. This is, I want to go for a beer. I'm going to go with a beer for, with Gibraltar. Uh, fired up. It's I thought, the first this smile and look I thought was going to be kind of like he's a bit sort of, uh, like just a manic and mad, but no, it actually is like I am fucking loving battle. Battle is fun. I I'm looking forward to hearing what his lines are going to be like. Uh, teamwork, nice. This is all of these kind of encouragement ones, intense focus, guy ready for battle. Um, humble, victorious. Ooh, not part of the skydiving one. And come on. <laughs> but yeah, good company. I'm definitely on board with. That's the one I want. Um, never get around to it. Uh, badges, obviously, unlock with um, things that you have to do. Not anything jumping out of me, but obviously, the probably cute ones in there, but don't put in my attention. And then trackers is just keep following your uh, your um, skills and skills. Okay, so now we need to pick, uh, go through the lines here. I will be semi silent while I listen to them, but I will jump in whenever I hear one I like. <laughs> I just do the job. What can I say? I love what I do. My shield, my life. Hey, try and move me. It'll be fun. <laughs> and there's my line. <laughs> it's as I said, you like it's a threat. But just, just let's have a good time while you try. You see me? Your pal. Finished. That one's also pretty good. Come on, brother! Step Come up! Come on, brother! All right, brother. Gibraltar's coming for you. Good luck, brothers. Great, good, wonderful. <laughs> I like that great, good, yeah. wonderful one as well. Oh, great, good, wonderful. Here we go. Better hope you're with me. This is going to hurt you more than me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I also like that line. This is gonna hurt you more than me. <laughs> this is gonna hurt you more than me. This is gonna hurt you more than me. <laughs> it's alternate ticks as well. Okay. I like that. I'm not hard to miss, and I don't miss. <laughs> I'm like a rock, but rocks don't hit back. <laughs> Alright, so the character's got a great personality and a lot of these lines I would be happy to use at any point. I'm like a rock, uh, I don't miss or do more than me. Like, even the most common ones I could go on board with, like, I'd be absolutely happy with. That's pretty cool. I'm ready. Are you? Hey, it's a beautiful day. Let's make the most of it. Just another day and another title. Try what you want. It won't make a difference. Hey, brother, watch out. Here I come. I'm either with you or you're done, pow. You push, I slam. <laughs> you push, I slam. I'm on board with that. Thing. So yeah, like I love this character's personality and the dying so far. It, kind yet threatening. <laughs> it's actually a good way to describe this character, and I'm on board with that. That was all I needed, brother. Awesome battle. Maybe next time. <laughs> it's an awesome feeling to win. Hey, I really know how to bring the fun into this. Bye, brother. See you later. I can't help but to compliment myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that one. It's as as you just killed somebody. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to pat myself in the back for that one. Hey, just Gibraltar getting the job done. Gibraltar wins again. <laughs> that was a good match, brother. <laughs> I got you. Hey, I brought it. You did it. <laughs> Some call it luck. I call it skill. I said it, and I believe it. I'm winning today. It's all in the attitude, and I got a lot of it. It's just my skill. Can't help it, brother. Hey, you just got it handed to you, brother. Nice try. Brother, this just wasn't your fight. Hey, 
You have some skill. Keep at it, so I can beat you again. <laughs> All right, that's, I am also sold on that one. <laughs> Looks like my training paid off. Oh, this is my favorite part. Hey, never turn your back on Gibraltar. <laughs> Hard to find, find your back whenever he's actually in front of you. Ha, not today, maybe tomorrow. Not too bad, but not too good either, brother. Uh, it's just the fact that I'm getting uh, massive vibes of Waka from um, Final Fantasy X now as well with some of these brothers. You got to admit, that was pretty good, right? Respect, brother. Thank you for the kill, brother. It's a, thank you for giving me your life. Thanks for pushing me, my brother. <laughs> that didn't work out too well for you, pal. <laughs> hey, that was fun for me. That was fun for me. <laughs> I like the reads. There's actually a couple of these with actually like their second read. Actually, it's more entertaining than their first read. I don't want to go through all of them twice, but I like that. I like there's a few of them have differences. That's how you change a life. That's what you get for messing with Gibraltar. The pleasure is all yours. The sun is shining bright on me today. This is Gibraltar's match. Looks like today is my day, brother. Yeah, good try. Maybe try harder next time. Too slow, too weak? <laughs> Whatever the case, I got you. <laughs> That's a Rodney Dangerfield line that it sounds like more than anything else. Gotta get no respect. You didn't fight horribly. That's a good thing. Hey, brother, you lost this time. You should be proud to be defeated by Gibraltar. <laughs> All right. See this? The, that's where I'm actually seeing the smart. I'm actually in part of it, and I'm actually going like, right. I'm, I, I'm, I kind of see this, but the character seems too kind to actually really mean it nastily. You tried. You died. And then you've got that. But yeah, it's kill lines. There's a couple of really nice respectful ones in there. Again, um, not a whole section of ones like I thought um, I did with um, with uh, was a bloodhound. I didn't actually see an entire section that were all like really themed to one thing. But his whole stuff, his whole section and his whole series of lines, all of his quips are set, are quite respectful. But also like you know, just remember this is all just a game, and I like that for the mentality of the character. <laughs> oh. Oh, ha! And smash your skull. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I love that. Shield smash is what finishes you. <laughs> and so the fact that you're not going to see this just as your victory poses actually anytime you get the chance to kill somebody like this, and it looks great. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love this one. All right, that's brilliant. <laughs> Any of the ones that actually end with him laughing have to be used for that one. Force of Gravity literally just like throws his ass on you. Um, damn, I'm on board with that. That's awesome. All right, so it'll be 1,200 to actually unlock any one of those. Uh, essentially, Force of Gravity is the one I want out of that. Cool. Gibraltar is actually pretty badass. I'm super entertained by that. Um, it's, I said you know what's going on with them and everything else. Uh, last thing to look at is just the skills Gibraltar brings with him to the battlefield. Uh, passive gun shield, aiming down the sides, deploys a gun shield that blocks incoming fire. I have been on the receiving end of this, and it is a bit of a dickhole thing, but I actually really love it. It's going to make me look forward to actually playing as Gibraltar, even though he he does appear to actually almost move a bit slower than everybody else. Good bulk size, but um, having the gun shield means he can just walk into battle, and then you know, his secondary thing is a dome of protection, which protects yourself and people around you. And then defensive bombardment, quarter strike on a position. Uh, like this... The guy is bulk, power, and force, and that, that doesn't even affect. That doesn't matter what guns he's actually normally using, because everybody uses the same guns in this game. But he'll actually be able to throw a massive amount of uh, damage and soak up a lot of damage while actually in combat with your teammates. I like the guy, I like your Balter. I like the mood and tone of the character. I'm really on board with actually seeing more of um, your Balter in combat. I'm looking forward to playing as the character. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> gonna be all right, brother. Uh, so yeah, if you actually enjoyed this, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any thoughts, questions, if you want to actually talk about, um, something I'd be interested seeing in the comments is actually people talking about the uh, the characters, 
uh, character history, like some of the designs, the costumes. I don't know if the, mil the military costumes that actually are part of his legendary set uh, with the uh, Move Dome helmet and the base shield. Um, I'm taking a guess like, it's a Samoa kind of direction. It's actually the kind of uh, where the character's history is, is from. But if there's actually a historical costume or anything behind that, I would love to know if any of the history nerds out there happen to be watching on YouTube. And um, anything else, as always, like, comment, subscribe, share the video around. Check out the rest of the ones in the series I'm going to be doing, one for each character as we go through. And uh, hopefully you enjoy some of the gameplay whenever I get to check it out. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.